Introduction to the counting principle. The counting principle says if I have so many of each kind of thing that I can multiply the combinations together in order to figure out how many outfits I have. If I think about it this way, I have two shirts. Maybe one's red and one's blue. And I have three pairs of pants. I've got my jeans, I've got my khaki pants, and heck, maybe I have a pair of leggings. So, I can either wear my red shirt with my jeans, my red shirt with my khaki pants, or my red shirt with my leggings. I could wear my blue shirt with my jeans, my blue shirt with my khaki pants, or my blue shirt with my leggings. I've got six possible ways of doing that because I had two ways to do my shirt, three ways to do my pants, two times three gives me six different outfits that I can make. So fundamental counting principle just says I take the number of ways I can do the first thing times the number of ways I can do the second thing and I get the total number of ways I could do that. Same thing if I have a longer list. Jane is ordering an ice cream dessert. She must order a size, a flavor of ice cream, and a topping. There are three sizes, one flavor, and three toppings. How many different ice cream desserts could she order? Well, three times one times three would be nine different ways I could make my ice cream dessert. <clears throat> Lunch special at Bill's restaurant is a sandwich and a drink. There are five kinds of sandwiches and two drinks. How many lunch specials, well, specials, how many lunch specials are possible? There would be 10 different ways I could do that. If I have five sandwiches and two drinks. So counting principle, I take the number of ways from each choice, I multiply it together, that tells me the total number of ways I could do it.